Okay, hello and welcome to Mr. Hot Maths with Mr. Capassi. He'll be back in a minute, but today we're going to do GCSE Maths negative numbers. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so first, 2 times 6. We all know that's 12. Okay, so we've got a negative 2 multiplied by a negative 6. Negative multiplied by negative is a positive. Again, that's 12. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 6. A negative multiplied by positive is a negative. Negative 12. Positive 2. Negative 6. Again, positive multiplied by negative equals, you guessed it, negative. Negative 12. Okay, so that's multiplication, division. 8 divided by 4, we know is 2. A negative divided by a negative. Again, it's the same as what's happened here with the multiplication. To get rid of the negative, just is, is just left with the positive. So again, it's just positive two. A negative divided by a positive. Same thing. What happened over here with the multiplication becomes a negative, and that's negative two. And here we've got a positive divided by a negative. Again, that stays a negative, and that's a negative two. Okay, I'm going to back hand you back to Mr. Holtmarks. <laughs> right then, so we're talking about adding and subtracting on this slide. So, two, this is just like saying 2 plus positive 6, or 2 on 6, 8. Alright, now what we've got here is 2 take away negative 6. Most people say it is 2 minus minus 6. However you want to say it, you rewrite it. I always tell people, put a circle around it. It means plus, minus, minus together, means plus. So that's two out of six, which is again, eight. And just to be aware, this, these rules only work when there's two signs in between two numbers. Not if they're anywhere else, they've got to be together in between two numbers. So here we've got two, take away plus 6, so the minus plus signs are opposite, so it becomes a minus, so 2 minus 6, it's going to come out as negative 4, oh cheers sir, and uh, 2 plus minus, so again 2 signs in the middle, they're different, so it's going to be take away, 2 take away 6 minus 4 again. So we can see the patterns that are emerging here. And then if we come onto this side and we move the bin out of the way, so I can trip over it, right? <laughs> 8 minus minus 4. So I'm just going to use the number line. So we start at 8 minus minus, well again, circle it, change it to a plus, signs are the same. So it means plus. 8 out of 4, well we can all do that in our heads, hopefully. 12. And this complicated one over here now, we've got negative 8 plus minus 4, right? That looks a bit more confusing. First step, let's just rewrite that bit in the middle. Minus, so we've got minus 8 minus 4. Now this is where people get confused because they say, well, two minuses are a positive. No, they're not in this case because there's only one minus in between the numbers. There's not two. So we've got negative 8, which we start in there at minus 8, negative 8, and we're taking away, we're like, taking away, so we're going smaller. And again, some people say, well, it's minus 4. No, it's not, because we're going smaller, we're going colder, if you like. So we're going to go minus 8, take away number 4, minus 12. So please be aware of that. And uh, we're just going to last look at three very hard questions, and I'm going to hand you back to Mr. Capassi. Right, thanks for the Hall, I'm back again. Yeah, you can't get enough of me here now. Okay, so we've got negative 1 plus negative 7 subtract negative 4. Looks, looks all very complicated. Let's, let's just start with the minus 1. Plus and the minus together, as Mr. Holt said. Circle that, change that. Plus and the minus makes a negative. So we've got minus 1. Subtract 7, we've got this here, so 
so circle back. A negative with another negative makes a positive. So here we've got positive 4. Okay, so minus 1, minus 7. So we're over here. We're going this way. Another 7, so that's going to be minus 8 and 4. Okay, so now we've got plus, um, sorry, negative 8. Add 4. We go in this way. Minus 4. Okay, let's go over to here now. So, like always, so we're starting with the 5. Multiplying, remember what I said, positive, multiplying by a negative. It's a negative. So we've got to have, let's get rid of that. So we've got to have that negative there for the start. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. Okay, add a negative 12. Circle that, make it into a negative. So that's subtract 12. So that's a negative 20, subtract 12. Negative 20 is going to be somewhere way over there. And we go in, as Mr. Hawkins, we're going back. So that's going to be negative 32. Okay, last one. Negative 2. Multiply by another negative. Makes a positive. So that's going to be positive 12. Okay, now we've got a subtract with a subtract. Circle that. Make that into a positive. So that's going to be a positive 12. Then we've got the cheeky little minus 1 at the end. Okay, so positive 12. Add another 12, we all know what that is, that's 24. Subtract 1 gives us a whopping 23. Okay guys, that's it from me and Mr. Holt. Thank you for having us and goodbye.